Hi, this is your girl Miss Edie. Yes, and I'm back on this beautiful Tuesday night. Um, as you know, we're here in our Hush program where we empower women and where we say, hey, it's okay. I am a bitch. Yes, I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am trustworthy. I am caring. I am human being. As you know, I'm moving forward with my woman empowerment um, conferences and you know everything I do, I do it for the woman. We need to be strong, we need to get together, we need to support one another and help one another when we can. So let's say, let's see what else I got today. Today I got a letter and I'm going to give my opinion, see how I can empower you to become stronger, independent and yes, be that bitch. Okay, it says, hi Edie. Um, what I'm doing right now, I've never done before. I really admire you in the way you talk and you express yourself. You live your life the way you want to live. And I want to tell Edie something. I don't know Edie well, but I would like to get your advice on something about life. Edie, I'm a girl. I am 21 years old. I was in a relationship since I was 12 years old. A relationship that lasted eight years long. The love that we had became into custom. We can say like, I got used to him. It wasn't love anymore. And I noticed it when I saw him that he started flirting with a lot of other people. In the meanwhile, I started talking to another guy, which um, was a very gentle man, very calm. I was at peace with him. From talking to him, I started having more and more feeling for this new guy. So I terminated my prior relationship, which was very difficult because my older relationship did not want to let me go. So I got into a relationship with the second guy, even though I didn't want to get with him immediately. I wanted to have time for myself, but he was treating me so nice so I decided to get into a relationship with him. What he offered me in the relationship was peace, calm, trust, which I didn't have in my first relationship. Everything was going good and I was falling in love every day a little bit more. But after two horrible years, yes, I say horrible, this guy was treating me in the beginning super. Then all of a sudden he changes. He started treating me real bad. And he started blaming his prior relationship. He said because of his history with women, he doesn't trust any woman. But Edie, every day I demonstrated him the type of woman I am. My upbringing is way different than his. My, my parents... They dated since they were little. They got married and made kids. So when I left my first relationship, my mom wasn't really happy. She expected me to stay with him, marry, and have kids. It was difficult for them to accept that I started a new relationship. They couldn't bear the part that this modern society is, li is a little different than what they were used to be. But me and this guy, we argue a lot. A lot, Edie. He is very jealous and I'm not allowed to do anything he doesn't want to. He can do everything he wants, but I am not allowed. But I really love him. I Yes, but I really love him. But I don't want to take anything else at his hand, Edie. Can you please give me some advice? What do I have to say? Well, as a woman, we need to start to learn how to love ourselves first. We cannot make somebody else happy. We cannot be somebody else's desire and wishes if we aren't happy with ourselves. We need to know what we want as women, what we expect in a relationship, well, how we want a man to treat us in a relationship, not just in the first part of a relationship, but during the entire relationship. We deserve a man to treat us like queens because that is what we are. We are bitches, we are beautiful, we are intelligent, we are trustworthy, we are caring. Most of all, we are human beings. Men need to understand that we need to be treated, we need to be taken care of. We are not there 
for them to be demanding. We are not there like an object. We are there as a person for them to love. If I can't love myself, how do I expect somebody else to love me? That's not going to happen. I can be in a relationship since I was young. How did I get to know myself? You're in a relationship since you're 12 years old. You've always been attached to somebody else. How did you find your identity? You didn't find it. What is it that you want in life? What is it that you want to achieve on your own? And then to make sure you have that partner that can accomplish together with you the road that you see yourself going on. As a woman, we need to start figuring out ourselves before we attach ourselves to somebody else. We are women. We are supposed to be strong. That is expected from us. We are supposed to be, be carried on a pedestal. We are supposed to be loved. A man that doesn't treat us right, how can you expect him to love and care for a person like, for example, his daughter? We are the mother of his children. We are the, mud, the person that is going to be with him for life. That are supposed to love him and care for him. So why would he treat you as a woman less than you deserve? Are you not worth it to be loved? Are you not worth it to be cared for? Are you not worth it to feel desired? A man that decides for you what you're going to do, what you're going to wear, what you're going to eat, has you as a property. It's hard for me to say it, but you are his property according to him. You need to understand you are a human being. You are not his property. You are his partner. Things have to go. Things have to be equal in life. Yes, he needs to treat you equally. He needs to love you. He needs to provide for you. He cannot put a hand on you. He cannot demand things from you that you are not comfortable with yourself doing. But when does that happen? When we are women depend too much on a man. You should not depend on a man. You should make sure you are okay with yourself. Yes, I'm saying it. Love yourself before you love anybody else. If you don't love yourself... You are not able to love anybody else. The person that is going to love you is going to love you for you, for what you have to offer, for your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, your character. A person that loves you accepts you for who you are. So just saying this, when you're in a relationship where a man does not treat you right or does not value you for who you are, you have no right being there. Now it's up to you to get up and leave. Yes. Because you as a woman, you are worth more than that. You are worth more than arguments. You are worth more than demands. You are worth caring, love, trust. And if that's not given to you, then I don't know what you're still doing there. You deserve the best. You are a queen, so act like a queen. Yes, you are. You are a damn queen. So act like a motherfucking queen. Because that's what we are. But we need to start here. Love yourself first before you love anybody else. There is no man worth loving more than yourself. So let's start by that. Be that bitch. Be beautiful. Be intelligent. Be trustworthy, be caring. Most of all, you're a human being. Yes, I said it. So this was your girl, Miss Edie. I hope this message has helped you. We women, remember, you need to stick together. This message is not only for my peeps in the Caribbean, in Curacao, in Martin, Holland. This message is worldwide. So woman, what we need to do is we need to stand up and be that bitch. Get your crown, put it on your head, love yourself first. The rest will come. Peace out, baby.